pumpkin pie and chicken pot pie, Bridie's, Clangers, and Bugatza. It doesn't matter what flavor, I love pies. I actually don't, they made me say that. There are hundreds of varieties of pies around the world, both savory and sweet. Why are they so popular? And what does their history have to do with four and 20 blackbirds, Cornish miners, coffins, and Geoffrey Chaucer? Stay tuned as we bite into all the crusty details. A pie has a flaky pastry made with flour, water, butter, and salt, and then filled with sweet or savory ingredients. Its history goes back thousands of years. A recipe for chicken pot pie was found on a tablet dated before 2000 BCE. The ancient Egyptians had a recipe that featured a honey filling covered by a crust but it was in the fifth century that the Greeks invented what we know as pie pastry. Oh my God. The Romans later filled this pastry with meat and seafood. By the Middle Ages, pies were the centerpiece of fancy banquets and filled with beef, lamb, duck, and pigeon. The nursery rhyme, Sing a Song of Sixpence, with its line, Four and Twenty Blackbirds Baked in a Pie, references the practice of medieval English bakers who included blackbirds, pheasant, and crows in their pies. Often the pie cover would be removed and discarded to present the meal within. By the 17th century, miners in Cornwall, England, would take a hand pie known as the pasty to work for lunch. The miners would be underground all day. The pasty was filled with meat and potato and was an all-in-one meal that was easy to carry and would retain its heat. The miners would hold on to the crust with their dirty hands while eating the yummy insides. They would then throw away the contaminated crust. Initially, in England, the pastry of a pie was referred to as a coffin. Well, they are deadly. Eventually, this outer casing became known as the crust, like the outside of bread. But how did pies go from meaty meals to sweet desserts? The earliest known recipe for apple pie dates back to 14th century England, printed by author Geoffrey Chaucer. Legend has it the very first cherry pie was baked for Queen Elizabeth I of England. Much obliged. When the pilgrims first landed in America, they made meat-based pies using local meats. They added spices like cinnamon and nutmeg they had brought from England. These spices would be the basis of pumpkin pie. Yum. But it was the establishment of sugar colonies in the Caribbean in the 1700s that led to the development of sweet pies. The sweet pies became a way of preserving food to eat during the winter months. In the U.S., as people moved west, they would make pies out of whatever they could find. They would use fruits and vegetables such as rhubarb, berries, and sweet potatoes. For Americans, pies are predominantly sweet, they're as American as, um, no, apple pie. But in other parts of the world, savory pies are more popular. For example, around 270 million meat pies are eaten every year in Australia. And in the United Kingdom, various meat pies, such as Bridie's, Scotch pies, and pot pies are standard. Now that you're full of pie, Let's find out why everyone is obsessed with pumpkin spice on another episode of Origins of Food. <laughs> <laughs>